What's going on guys, your boy Rome 300, back again with another video. Yes, we back again. Welcome to He Smells Like Rome. <sighs> I'm excited. I told you guys when I started this year, I was gonna come out with some bangers. I was gonna come out with some new fragrances, some new exclusive launches, and I'm gonna try to keep my word. Y'all saw the title. This fragrance right here is another fragrance from one of my favorite houses, FNS's Paris. And this is one of their new launches from the new collection, the Diamond Collection. Now, you guys, if, you, if you're familiar with Sophie, um, she's the creative director, the owner of Effinescence. And if you are familiar with the last launch, which was the Dark Fragrances, this is, um, I guess how I can put it, is her thoughts, her theme from the first collection was more uh, on base notes. She wanted the, the fragrances to start off with the dry down. Most people love the dry down of fragrances. You hear a lot of people talk about that. And she wanted the strength of the open and the be just as long lasting as the base of the fragrance. So that's why she called that line base notes, which I've reviewed, I think every fragrance on that line, if I'm not mistaken. And they are stunning fragrances. And what I love about Sophie in, in her creative direction is that she doesn't drop a fragrance every year. She doesn't drop a fragrance every six months. It takes her roughly a year to two years to come out with something new and unique. She did just that with this fragrance here. This is one of the new fragrances, it's three. And this one is called Gingembra Latte. Ginger Latte, if that's easy for you. Um, and you know, I, I saw at Essence Festival that they were launching fragrances and I was super excited. So, you know, I, I had to get one. Um, and I looked at all the notes of all the fragrances and this one definitely caught my attention. Uh, and this line is going to kind of invoke or have a direction towards lighter, fresher fragrances, right? And if you you're worrying like, oh, it's gonna be light, it's not gonna last long, no. Sophie is sticking with her DNA. They are fresh fragrances. They're gonna be on the brighter, citrusy side, but she will make sure that these fragrances last a minimum of eight hours, easy. And this one is no exception. This, oh my God. I smelled this for the first time about maybe a month and a half ago. And from the notes on this fragrance, this one is going to as the name says, ginger latte, right? So you think it's gonna be on the spicier, more coffee side? No. Let me let me explain how this fragrance breaks down in my way, my opinion, right? So first spray, I put this on my skin and the first thing that hit me was almost a bright citrus bergamot, right? That's what I thought I smelled. But then, maybe about two, three minutes into that, it changed from being that to this green accord. It smelled like lemongrass. That's the first thing that came across me, a green lemon type of sweet smell, but also slightly earthy. That fragrance note kind of threw me for a loop because I was like, man, this is this is really good. I, I didn't expect that that freshness mixed with a slight earthiness, mixed with a slight pinch of sweetness come out the opening and it smells so good. That was met with the ginger. The ginger spice was not as strong as the lemongrass, but it was pleasant to kind of like mix them together. That combination made it slightly spicy, green, and also this lemongrass it definitely kind of leans more on that lemon note than the grassier note to me. And man, that stuff smells so good. I sprayed it on earlier today. And guys, I tell you that the opening is beautiful. You'll, you're gonna play with the fragrance probably for about maybe a good 20 minutes. And then it starts to develop a little bit more. And this is where this kind of milky note comes in, right? Now, if you can imagine a iced tea, right? A green iced tea mixed with a couple of drops of milk, 
splashed with uh, this kind of spice of ginger. That's where this fragrance is. This is where that sits at for me if you had to develop this fragrance and say what it was. That's the first maybe hour of this fragrance. I'm getting this, like I said, the lemongrass, the ginger, maybe about maybe 45 minutes to an hour into it now, the grassy note kind of dissipates and we get this beautiful concoction of green tea mixed with milk, right? So a creaminess mixed with this green tea, but not the hot tea that you normally use, more of an iced tea. Um, and that, man, this is something that I love about this company. They take risks. And when they took this risk, it paid off 100% because I've never smelled anything like this. Green tea, of course, we have hundreds of green tea fragrances. We have hundreds of ginger fragrances. But the combination of mixing green tea with ginger and dropping a creamy note inside of that, beautiful, beautiful fragrance. The packaging of this fragrance is to me, it is beautiful, but I have to be honest. I was excited thinking that this was going to be the same kind of offering where you got the, you know, the, the coffin for the fragrance to sit in like the older fragrances, but the presentation is only roughly 10 to 15% of how I would buy a fragrance. The presentation has to be good, but I think they cut cost on that to bring you more of a affordable option. Because I think if you look at the presentation with the uh, uh, base notes, you're paying close to like $375 or maybe even more now, versus you're getting less presentation but more fragrance. And the bottle design is gorgeous. The theme is gorgeous. This almost metallic uh, color, it is, it's beautiful. I love the simplicity and I love that they step, I love that they stuck with the theme, but change it just ever so slightly. The box is beautiful. I am, just in my opinion, I hope they give us the option to possibly get the full presentation like they did in the older collection. But back to the fragrance. Um, when we get to the middle of the fragrance, like I said, you get this kind of green tea creaminess that goes along. And now it starts to develop a little bit more. The freshness is, is, is still there, but we have a little bit more of the earthiness come in. And this is where this patchouli uh, comes in. For me, it becomes slightly sweeter too. So you got these kind of uh, hints of gourmandness kind of traveling through the fragrance mixed with the fresh notes, mixed with the spicy notes, mixed with this green tea. And when I tell you this green tea kind of effects, it lasts the entire fragrance. It does not go away at all. And it stays pretty much at the same strength of from the beginning of the fragrance all the way to the end. And I enjoy that. Um, the creaminess also does not um, disappear at all, really, to me. I smell the creaminess of the fragrance and it also kind of amps up towards the middle and the dry down for me. Um, we lose the citrus aspect with the uh, lemongrass, maybe about an hour, an hour and a half of wearing the fragrance. It's very faint at this point. The ginger spices continue to develop and mix so well with this beautiful patchouli. I love these, in my opinion, the earthy, spicy, green patchouli. I, I love that that kind of almost edgy patchouli note. And they developed and delivered with this fragrance. Um, is this going to be for everyone? I think that this fragrance will appeal to a lot of people because most people love fresh fragrances. Most people love that kind of green tea effect, right? And I have never met a person that does not like a latte, right? Now you say, Rome, it says latte, but latte is built off of coffee, right? Yes, I think that for me, and, and this is just me, don't quote me on this. I think the latte 
kind of effect is if you ever had a cappuccino or a latte, the cream that they put in there to kind of mix with the coffee is that effect that I get. But mixing it with the tea is where I think that the combination of the creamy ice milkiness mixed with this, this ginger spice on top of the green tea is developed so smoothly, so effortlessly that you can definitely create this, this latte effect, this latte kind of smell. It works in my opinion. The first thing I thought of was that I'm sitting in a coffee shop or you know, a coffee slash tea shop that you can order either one. And I think that the combination of all those notes that I mentioned make it just gorgeous fragrance. So as we get to the dry down of this fragrance, right? Um, for me, this fragrance, it, it starts to develop and it's gonna sound a little, little kind of out there. Just trust me on this. This fragrance starts to become a little bit daring, right? We have, like I said, this uh, lemongrass, right? This beautiful Madagascar lemongrass uh, in the opening. But when we get down to the dry down, this patchouli mixed with this uh, Peruvian pink pepper just opens up this fragrance to another level for me. Now we got at least three different types of spices going on in this fragrance that kind of, you know, trade places at some point. You get a little bit of the ginger with that sweet kind of spices. And then you get the pink pepper that has a little bit more amped up darker spice, but still leans a little bit in the sweet realm. Combine that with this green tea, patchouli, beautiful darkness that you would think kind of would butt heads with the freshness that they're trying to invoke, right? But it works so well because the green tea is just beautiful. This is a flamboyant fragrance. It's not trying to be shy. It's trying to say, yes, smell me. You're gonna love how I smell. You're gonna enjoy it. Other people are gonna enjoy it. And it's a fresh take on a fresh fragrance, in my opinion. And you guys know, y'all know me. I am not, you know, keen to fresh fragrances. I, I try to stay away from them because they tend to be boring. This fragrance right here is the absolute opposite. It is refreshing, it is exciting, it is beautifully made, it is balanced. The aroma is going to cause conversation. Trust me, <laughs> this fragrance is beautiful. I'm gonna spray it, let's see how the sprayer works so you guys can check it out. Man, that mess is beautiful. You guys are gonna love this. This is beautiful. Bravo, Effinescence. This is a gorgeous fragrance. Now, I've worn this fragrance uh, on three occasions now, and I can tell you that this is definitely eight hours plus. This is going to stay in your skin for eight hours. It's going to project probably about a good five hours. Um, five and a half hours, I'll give it. And then it'll dry and slow down a little bit it's probably going to project pretty far. I'll give this about two to three feet of projection, being to be honest. Um, around that five, five and a half hour mark, it's going to come a little closer, maybe a half hour projection. The sillage would probably, it's weird. It's kind of hard for me to describe how this sillage is because I haven't really come across anybody that said that they smell me walking past because Pretty much every time I wore this was in, you know, outdoors. I was out doing something. I haven't been indoors for it to kind of linger for someone to tell me. So you guys gonna have to try it out and see for yourself. But I'm confident that if you walk past someone, they will definitely smell you. My wife has told me this smells good. She is, you know, complicated to say the least when it comes to fragrances. She don't really like everything, but when I spray this on, I didn't tell her what it was. She just complimented me and told me it was great. Um, and trust me when I tell you, I, I do this for a living. I, I know what I'm talking about. This is a great fragrance. 
Um, Tom's aware of this, in my opinion. This fragrance is 100% suitable for the spring and summer. This is going to kill in the summertime and it's gonna be gorgeous in the springtime. Um, I was kind of shocked that they dropped this now, but I'm glad I got it. I'm glad it's out. I'm glad I can tell you guys to get it so you can, you know, check it out and um, try it on your skin. I got two other fragrances from the line and samples. Um, definitely going to do my first impressions on that for you guys also. But I just wanted to get this fragrance out because it's such a gorgeous fragrance. Unfortunately, I do not know the perfumer behind this fragrance. If I do, I'll put it up. Um, if I can find out who it is, I'll put a picture or their name up there. But the new line is out. I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are too. Get your nose on the fragrances, get the samples. Uh, they should be at Lucky Scent soon. You can go on FNS's website, check it out and order samples through there. But I'm telling you guys, this is a great fragrance from the new launch, the Diamond Collection from Evanescence. Sophie, great job. I cannot wait to try the new fragrances. And uh, you know I'm gonna add more to my collection. All right, I think that's it guys. All right, until next time, like I always say, it's okay if you wanna smell like rum. I'll check you guys out in the next video. Until then, peace.